Hello everyone, welcome again to our YouTube channel Engineers World. So today is a short video uh, which will in which we will be discussing some of the points that come in the that are asked in the interviews. So today the topics that we are going to to discuss are uh, anchorage bond, anchorage length as well as development length. So topics are anchorage bond. anchorage length and third one is development length so before discussing these topics first of all we must know why and how is the bond developed between the steel and the concrete as we are studying RCC so the bond between the steel and concrete is due to addition, frictional resistance and it acts as a mechanical bond. So bond is due to addition due to frictional resistance between steel and concrete. And third one is a mechanical bond. That is the bond between steel and concrete. So this is the re uh, reason uh, why the bond is between the steel and concrete. Now we will start with anchorage bond. First of all, uh, we must know what is bond stress. See, bond stress is developed when any force is applied over the steel to get it removed from the concrete surface. So, whenever a tensile force is acting over a reinforcement, for example, this is the concrete section. This is our reinforcement. And here it is acted upon by a tensile force P. So whenever a tensile force P is acting on a reinforcement and the force is trying to remove the reinforcement from concrete, then the bond stress is acted over the full length of the reinforcement that is embedded over the concrete. So bond stress is developed just like this over this length. So if the bond stress is represented by tau, BD from this diagram we can write this force is equal to stress into area that is bond stress tau BD into area area will be dia bar into length simply into pi or we can simply write our bond stress tau BD as P upon pi into dia bar into length so this is our and this tau BD should not be greater than tau BD permissible. So this was all about the anchorage bond. Now this bond stress that is developed, this tau BD, this is called as anchorage bond. Now what is anchorage length? The length of a bar required to transfer the force in the bar to the surrounding concrete through bond is called anchorage length. So this length will be called as simply anchorage length. So what is this anchorage length? It is the length of the bar required to transfer the force in the bar to the surrounding concrete through the bond is called as anchorage length. So we have discussed what anchorage bond is and what anchorage length is. Now the second part, part is uh, your development length. So next topic is development length. Now what is the development length? Development length is maybe defined as 
the minimum length of the reinforcement required to be embedded inside the concrete minimum length of the reinforcement that is required to be embedded inside the concrete so that the strength of the reinforcement in bond is equal to strength of reinforcement in tension for example this is that minimum length of concrete that is required to be embedded in the minimum length of uh, steel or reinforcement that is required to be embedded in the embedded inside the concrete so this is the minimum length see we know that uh, bond stress will be acting on this so this minimum length of reinforcement required to be embedded inside the concrete such that the strength of reinforcement in bond will be equal to the strength of reinforcement in tension so uh, p bond is equal to p tension so this minimum length will be called as development length now if we divide if we derive the expression for development length it will be just like this for example this is the load p in tension now if we calculate the strength in tension or p tension it will be simply 0.87 fy into pi by 4 into phi square this 0.87 fy is nothing but the design stress of steel so tension uh, force will be equal to stress into area of this bar now second is strength of reinforcement in bond p bond we have discussed this this is simply tau bd permissible into pi into phi into l here l will be our development length so upon equating p tension equal to p bond we will finally uh, come to the expression as ld that is development length is equal to phi into 0.87 fy upon 4 tau bd and tau bd is permissible so this is a required expression for development length now uh, hope you had have uh, understood the difference between the anchorage length and development length so today we discussed uh, three top uh, three topics that is anchorage bond anchorage length and development length hope you would have liked liked the video